I've listened to this two or three times, and I don't like listening to it. It just it scares the shit out of me. And I got there, and uh, and I backed up, pulled my trailer up, got it set up. This enclosed trailer I got kind of made it like a little uh, camper inside. So it's kind of nice, you know, and right. I kind of made it into a little camper. It was a pull-behind cargo trailer. If anybody's ever seen one, you'll see people pulling them down the road during closed or black or gray or white. And they're full of utilities inside of them, you know, tools. So, mine was set up, I put a window on one side and a window on the other side. But anyhow, I would set it up so I can have my quad in there, my gold prospecting equipment and everything. I had the truck parked there, connected to the cargo trailer. The cargo trailer was clear back here. The back doors was. They had double doors. So I went to bed about 9 o'clock and at 10 o'clock at night on the dot because I, because I had my phone on. It was illuminating like I'm talking to you right now. I was talking to 911 dispatcher. And this thing's rocking like hell. Nine one one, we have the emergency. Yeah, that's right, Ronnie. But I'm at. Man, we're up in the way that. I can't understand you, sir. Where are you at? My God, something's trying to push my damn trailer over in a church. Yeah, um, I I quit a bit to waiting them. Okay, what? Where are you at? Are you, yeah. Sir, I need your. This window here, I'd say a little bit more than half of that's eight foot tall. I can't reach that. There's, I'm on my tippy toes now and I can't. Okay. I'm using this as a comparison. The window is on this side. This, the window I had in my, in my camper or in my trailer was a little bit smaller than this. It was about half, about like that. I seen one eyeball go across and then I'd see the, the other eyeball come back across this way. So it had a hell of a wide spread of eyeballs that I can't even reach with my two fingers here showing. So when this thing was going back and forth, it was growling through that window. Not on this camper, but on my trailer, okay? But there was a handprint. The handprint was up here about right over here. I'm not talking from the window because my window is actually right in here. But on the camper trailer that I had, the cargo trailer, one handprint was clear up to the top of the 8 foot tall, right at the edge with the fingers over. And the other one was clear the hell over here in between both windows. There's no way, no way. Anybody could have done that unless they did it with a ladder or something. I did not have a ladder out here with me. You still there? Yeah. Yeah. See the crazy dog.
this is what he was he did the night that my camper trailer got attacked and I'm gonna go through this and explain it to everybody he was doing the same thing and then at the end of the night there was all this fresh dirt right here the trailer that is why there is banging on there it's not from the outside they had their hands up there spread eagle they're shaking it and with the palm print it was at the top you sure could be people out there messing with you yeah no, it's not i see two big red eyes in the back of my uh, window on the west side oh my god they're shaking around again there was two of them there, but there was only handprints on the one side, which was from the big one that left the 17-inch track. Now, are you armed at all, sir? No, I'm not. I'm just nothing. I can get out of here. I have no weapon. <laughs> okay, Jerry, I got officers on the way, buddy. You say you saw somebody looking in your window? Two big red eyes. Two big red eyes? Yeah, I'm just like the Mars. He was August. Okay. And you said you were, you were asleep before this and they woke you up? Yeah. There was two of them. There was two. There, and they were so wide. One deputy was trying to take his hands and make them as spread out as he could. And you you couldn't even touch the top of this cargo trailer. My cargo trailer was uh, eight foot, eight foot something. Okay. Please stay alive with me. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> I'm sitting here on the floor of a trailer now. I'm just kind of mad at you. You couldn't put your hands up there unless you stood on a step stool or something. I've got an audio recorder up there down in a pavilion. Hopefully it picked us all up, man. Can you tell me what? I ain't got any shit no more. I didn't have really have money and stuff to invest in recorders or anything. Right. But all I went and got was a cassette tape recorder, recorder out there, and from Walmart and a microphone. And I was setting it up in my pickup truck to set the microphone out there, and I it right at dusk. You know, I was recording these tapes, which are only 90 minutes. One of my tapes got messed up that had some of the best uh, audio on it. You see the car lights yet? I can't see them, but yeah. Okay. I'm out the back in the... I'm out the back in the... That one? That's me, baby. I'm out the back in the... You son of a bitch! Go, 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 go
Is there a closed gate back there somewhere, Jerry? No. Right in here is where the truck was parked. Right in here. See that long ways past that port of John down there? I'm talking long ways. You could have seen headlights coming from clear down there, okay? All right, right there's from the camp where my camper trailer got attacked. Right across from the, the woods across the river there. And I'm going to let you guys see how long this drive is. I got back in there, I left the, the trailer connected to the truck. All I did was just put jack stands behind it, and then I just took the front, you know, you got the tongue jack in the front. And I left it connected to the truck. I just jacked the front up just a little bit to level it off. He said there's no closed gate back here. Okay. Down by the river. Uh, They were starting to come down the bike path, which is a mile back in there. And I'm telling them, tell them, don't come down on the bike path they can drive in the lower drive. I told them that like four times. The drive down by the river. You know, dispatch said, well, we got a couple up on the bike path walking back to you. And I said, why they can drive back here? I drove my Z28 out there the night or the day before, you know. Okay, it should be all the way back into the driveway. Uh, east side, he's still pretty shook up. I was trying to do headlights. Headlights. Okay, now the officers are coming back there. So. <clears throat> My cargo trailer was parked right here. It had windows on it, like that window right there. My windows is just a little bit smaller that I had put on one side of the cargo trailer and I had put another one on the other side of the cargo trailer just so I can get air moving through there. But those windows was open and they're tinted, the ones I had on there, but they was both open. And the night that the, the, the cargo trailer got attacked that I used for camping and prospecting, on the ground, I had a jack stand here and one over here, okay? The cargo trailer was eight foot tall. I couldn't reach up there, no way, unless I was standing on something. I've been doing big foot reaches because I've been having, I had my sighting last August. Oh, you did big foot research? Yeah. Okay. jack stands had been pushed over and not completely over it was off the bottom of it to level it up and then on this wheel here the inside of it the dirt and grass had been pushed over that thick on one side and on the other tire over there on the other side the outside of the tire the grass and dirt was about that thick on the other side that camper trailer had been shoved and pushed I'd say from about here to right here. That's how many times they was rocking it. I'm still here, sir. 
I'm still here. 4847 uh, 292. Uh, that's 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 I'm going to get me out of here. So you're not going to stay back down there no more, huh? Oh, oh no. No. I'm done. You know that? I said no. No, I'm not going to stay down there no more. I don't have any other night. Nope. Yeah. It's a good man. Tell me what. I okay. don't you know headlights. Okay, well, you won't. They're going to be on foot coming down to your cab. Uh, they had a. Uh, OT and our officer met up with them. Can they get to you from the bike path? They can drive back here. They can, I drove my Camaro, I drove my Camaro back here. I'm looking out the window and there's no one out there. What? What the fuck? Oh, it's a hell out of here. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. Correct. Is there another? Was there another one out there? They're the fuck out of me. I kept seeing the red eyes going back and forth across them little tiny windows I had in there. Yeah. <laughs> their headlights coming down that lane, these creatures could see those headlights at least a half mile away. The dead stopped right then and there. Okay, you should have officers out there now. They won't be I big. I got them. I got them. Okay, I'll let you go. All right. You're welcome. 11 at 71 is Jerry Klein. I can hear. <sighs> He was in a cruiser or if he was one to come down the bike path. 
but apparently wanted to run up that way and then up the landowner's pasture field there. When he got over there, he was out of breath. He's a, he's actually on a Facebook page of mine, but he's under an assumed name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's actually he's really into the Bigfoot and thing now, too. So <laughs> When the deputy sheriff got here, they seen that print like that there. And he was like, holy shit. They just started to basically interrogate me. And I was in my socks, but I caught, I got out. Of, I had, you know, I took my shoes off. I was asleep in the bed. I ain't going to sleep with my shoes on. And I started putting my shoes on. And one deputy sheriff went in behind the camper trailer. The footprint that I got from there was a 17 inch print I think is from a teenage you can't say juvenile teenage maybe 18 19 year old Bigfoot they found that print that was right on the side of the trailer that was being shook from the big one anyhow they had me take my socks off they looked at my hands make sure there wasn't no mud on all my shoes on my bare feet you know and then and I told him, I said, right before you guys got there, I said, these things are growling in the window at me. They drove away. All I asked them was, but before they left, I said, did any of you guys get anything on dash cam? And the DNR officer, officer said, I don't think your guys' dash cams were on, were they? Well, I know damn well they they kick on soon as they, they start those vehicles up. 